Welcome to Lakeshore. I'm going to walk you through your cyclone. In your front compartments, you have a 12 volt battery as well as your hydraulic fluid. Um, a little light in here. You'll have to, it, there's a little button in the center of it. Battery disconnect here for storage. Here's your generator in the bottom compartment. Make sure both of those breakers are on, otherwise you're just not going to kick power to your camper. You're going to push and hold prime for three seconds, push and hold start for three seconds, and then it should fire up if it doesn't repeat process. If you run out of fuel, you have to prime it longer. It's just little push stubs. big pasture area. The little toggle switch here is going to be the white LEDs on the front of your camper. To get the green LED light here you have to push up and down at the same time. That's going to bring power to this panel. That's going to show you like it went out now. It automatically times out. Push up and down. Brings power back to it. With your rear jacks all the way up you're going to be able to control just the front jacks from right here. Auto level after you get your truck out of the way. Um, right when you want to level out your unit before camping, after you, when you're ready to load up, you're going to hit hitch height. It's going to go back to that location right before you hit auto level. Um, retract all when you get it on the truck. Retract all your jacks. Right to the driver's side, you're going to have VIN, model, tire pressure, tire size, all you need to know right there. You got two 30-pound LT, LP tanks, both full. Regulators are going to be on the passenger side. Here you're going to have a 30 amp adapter down to a 30, 30 down to a 15 as well as a sewer hose. Um, battery disconnect on that side too, another battery disconnect, secondary. Um, little lights inside here. Inlet, inlet for uh, your cable, it's going to be these four slots. Water inlet, you're going to click your water hose in here to fill the tank, you're going to go here. To use the water in the tank you're going to go to dry camping. To use the water out of the water hose, city fixtures, winterization down, pointing down, outdoor shower with a hot and cold axis. Right below that is going to be a satellite inlet, as well as a black tank flush for your front bathroom. Um, before you hook a water hose up to that, make sure you connect it to the ground. You got your valves pulled out, Two, both valves there connect right in front of that jack. And then when your when your valves are open, you're gonna come over here, hook the water hose up, and then the water hose is gonna help that black jet, the black the black tank flush out with the black jets. If you got a full tank and you hook a water hose up to that and start that, you're now you're gonna have a big problem in the bathroom. Low point drain right underneath the slide there. Right, out, right over the steering wheel is gonna be your wa hot water heater. Um, right to the right is gonna be your furnace exhaust. So when you start up your your heat, be careful. Um, make sure nothing's leaning up against it because it will light on fire. Black black tank flush for the rear bathroom. Rear bathroom poles are going to be here. Um, remember again, just have your valves open and connect to the ground before you use that. Fuel inlet is going to be for, on the front side. It's going to be for your generator. For the on the rear side is going to be for your auxiliary nozzle inside this compartment, as well as the switches for right here in the corner. Right to the right of that, you're going to have a 50 amp hookup. Um, this cord will be inside in the actual garage. The white lights on the outside will be controlled from inside the garage. I will show you that when we get in there. Here you got your outdoor entertainment center. It's going to be an outdoor fridge with a stove top. The outdoor fridge is not going to work unless you have shore power. Coming up to your front compartments on the passenger side, you're going to have your radio. Your radio is controlled from the inside. Um, I'll show you how to work that. Bypass free water heater is going to be right here in the passenger compartment door here. Um, again, secondary battery connect there. Other LP tank, both full regulators is going to be up uh, pointing to the front right now. You're going to be using the tank right next to you. You point it to the rear, then you're going to use the passenger side tank. Point it back up to the front. Going inside your unit here. So when you get your unit, this slide will be in. You won't be able to access anything. So you have to enter from the back. Back is going to be your main door. Um, this slide out here is going to control both of the middle slides. <clears throat> so it's going to control the sofa slide as well as the kitchen slide with the fridge. So this slide and that slide. Um, you'll have to shut the bedroom down before you shut that one down. 
<coughs> on. So, when you open this slide, you'll be able to get to your main panel. Um, your main panel, anything that label is going to be lights. Um, you do have a digital side, it's called One Control. Um, here you're going to have the wind, gu wind guard connect, Yeti pack, so if you're camping when it gets cold out, you can use that Yeti pack to keep those tanks uh, somewhat warm. Here you're going to have the bedroom control for the slide. Um, here, here's your bedroom. You're going to have a control to bring down your bed here on the slide out to flatten the bed. Right now you can have it up almost in a couch position. Um, this switch here is going to control the LED lights underneath the master bedroom slide. And then individual little lights you can see throughout your camper. You're going to have lights like this that are going to have a button in the center. You'll just push in that button and it'll turn it on. Um, so you have individual reading lights. Here, when you're traveling, make sure your mirrors are locked open. Um, here again, another light here. And then, pull pull this slide out here. And that's where your hookup's going to be for your TV. This is going to be in the master bedroom. Um, you're going to have a thermostat here. You're going to push the mode button. Mode button, you push it once, you get a fan. You push it twice, you get the cool. Push it heat three times fourth is off up and down to control the temp um, here you got a DFI breaker right next to the sink outlet behind or light switch behind the toilet here's another thermostat so this thermostat can control the main furnace as well as for your living area um, here on your awning you got the controls here light on and off for the awning um, Bedroom slide, just just keep make sure everything's out of the way. Um, electric side for your water heater is going to be here. You're going to have the sound bar with the TV. This is the sound bar it does have the FM radio as well as Bluetooth hookup. Um, this will also play with the TV. This is the only sound you'll have in the living room. The, um, the fireplace below you won't be able to use unless you're hooked to shore power. The shore power. I uh, will show you the best indicator to see if you have at least 30 amps to run a furnace or I'm in a uh, fireplace. Here on each side you're going to have two light switches that are control the LED lights on the outside as well as the ones in the top here. Um, both of those off. You'll have them in each slide here as well on your second slide out with the, with the steps. This switch here controls the light inside your pantry. Um, keys are around your sink um, you also your best indicator if you have short power is going to be the microwave the microwave if you at least have 30 amps it's going to power up um, these little the little clocks going to show you hey you got 30 amps or more you're good to go if not it's not going to be powered up that's the fastest way to tell if you got voltage um, if you don't start your generator give it a few minutes and then microwave won't kick on you got um, for your Stove top, you're just gonna move it over to the little flame. You're gonna push and hold your igniter on the left side. Um, light switches here, you control the lights above in the kitchen. In the back garage, here are more individual tap lights here on the ceiling right when you walk in. Um, right next to the bathroom, you are prepped and ready for a washer and dryer, um, as well as the TV hookup. You can... Then you have the thermostat for the garage. And here's your bathroom for the back bathroom. Light switch right to the right. Here you're going to, and again, any switch not labeled is going to be a light. So you just go ahead and kill all these lights. Slide out room. That's going to be closing, closing it all in. After I close the master bedroom, then turn off all the lights in your camper. This is the last spot you should be in the garage to, to shut the slides up as long as all the lights are off um, awning the left awning here is going to be controlled off the back side the right awning here is going to control the little one off to the right bed lift control here bed lift control if you want if you want this bed down use the couch the couch is going to guide that bed down the couch is the only thing only thing on the chains if you pull these four pins on the side here um, without using that bed as 
as a guide to bring it down it's gonna hit you in the head so bring that bring this couch up lift you'll you'll see it lift the bed up a little bit pull the four pins on each side and then bring them both down um, the bed will stop about halfway the couch will keep going just remember use that use the couch if you don't it, you could hurt yourself um, back steps here for the back back patio that you got with the sliding doors um, I hope you enjoy your camper thank you for choosing Lakeshore have a great day